Will you move it up and down when you're ready? Thanks for joining us. Topping our new store. Okay. Good afternoon. I'm Lexi Ling. Thanks for joining us. Topping our news at this hour, President Trump says the roughly 1,000 U.S. troops that he has ordered to leave Syria will remain in the Middle East to prevent a resurgence of the Islamic State threat. The president made it clear that the withdraw tro withdrawn troops will leave S Syria entirely. He also said that a small number of U.S. troops at a base in southern Syria will remain there. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says the withdrawal of U.S. troops from Syria threatens a strategic calamity for American interests in the region. Without mentioning President Trump, the Kentucky Republican used a written statement to criticize the pre president's decision to withdraw American forces from the area. McConnell says he is gravely concerned about the move. It is his strongest criticism of President Trump's move and underscores near-solid bipartisan op opposition in Congress. Since U.S. troops were pulled out of Syria, Turkish troops have launched attacks against Syrian Kurds who had been leading the U.S. ally against the Islamic State. A white police officer in Fort Worth who authorities say fatally shot a black woman in her home has resigned in a one-sentence letter. Aaron Dean's letter simply said, Effective immediately, I am tendering my resignation from the Fort Worth Police Department. The police union says the dean has not yet hired an attorney, but that one will be provided with financial support from the union. Fort Worth police say Dean shot Tatiana Jefferson while responding to a report of an open door at her home. The officer shot Jefferson through a window when he saw her inside the home. The latest AP poll has two SEC teams atop the rankings this week. After handling Florida on Saturday night in Death Valley, the LSU Tigers jumped up three spots to number two in the nation. Alabama rem remained at the number one spot following Bama, LSU, Clemson dropped to number three, Ohio State moved up to fourth, Oklahoma is now fifth, followed by Wisconsin, Penn State, Notre Dame, Florida, and Georgia, who lost to South Carolina at home, dropped to number 10. Get out the cigars, it's Tennessee week as the Vols visit Bryant-Denny Stadium Saturday night with a later than usual 8 p.m. start. That's a brief news update. I'm Lexi Link. Have a great day.